everyone, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm making a buttercream mountain cake. I've seen quite a few versions of mountain cakes on social media and I've been wanting to make one for quite a while. My mom actually lives in the mountains and my brother lives in Colorado, so I definitely am very familiar with like beautiful mountain scenery. And kind of the vision I have for the cake that I want to create is lots of different layers and textures, like lighter colors going to deeper, but we'll see what I end up coming up with. So from the base of my cake, I am using just a six inch standard um, four layer cake. And I have already made all my different shades of buttercream and I might actually make more. I'm not exactly sure what colors I'm gonna wanna use, but you can see I have various shades of blues and some greens and of course some white. I'm gonna put some snow on the mountains and like add some depth. And for the most part, most of these colors came from the Wilton Color Right um, color system. I've used this many times. It's actually probably time to get another box um, with very good luck. So I highly recommend this. Um, and then I also use some Americolor black and navy blue to get some of the other colors. And I'm also gonna be using, after I drop them, I'm gonna be using lots of different palette knives to paint in with that buttercream and create those really beautiful layers. So to get started, I know that I want to make this like a 3D mountain. Um, I have seen other versions of that and I just think it looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna just start by basically kind of like sculpting frosting mountains over the top here. I start to get my big frosting mountain base. Um, I'm kind of starting to see it come together. I'm gonna put this into the fridge for about 10 minutes because I do want this to firm up because I'm gonna continue to build some layers. And as I add the next color, I don't want it to completely smear together. So this just came from the freezer and I'm gonna continue to add a little bit more height to these mountain ridges. So you can see that I'm starting to add in a little bit of white here to make this look more 3D and like snow. To be honest, this is probably gonna look nothing like what I have in my brain, but I know something beautiful is going to come out of this. That's definitely something I learned with cake decorating is a lot of times I might have a vision for what I think something is gonna look like and then it definitely turns out different, but a lot of the times I actually like it better. So, and a lot of times you have to improvise. <laughs> this is actually giving me like an ocean wave kind of feel right now. <laughs> I'm actually more of a beach person than a mountain person, probably because I lived at the beach forever. I really miss it but the mountains are equally as beautiful. So from here, I'm gonna add in my next layer of mountains and I'm going in with a darker color. So as the mountains go down, they are gonna get darker. And here I am gonna start that like zigzag mountain pattern that we're so used to. I've seen people create mountain cakes with parchment paper, which is also so pretty. Um, and it makes like a really clean, very evenly layered look. So it's like a little bit different aesthetic than what I'm going for. But they get the, those zigzags like really clear layers. start just very conservatively 
going into my lightest layer and adding just a tiny bit of that dark blue in just to create a little bit more of that depth and make it look a little bit more 3D. So I am gonna put this into the freezer for 10 minutes again because I need this to harden so that as I add more colors, again, it doesn't smear. So again, it just came out of the freezer, so this has hardened. conservatively go back in with a little bit of darker blue and on the other side of the mountain so like on one side is the white snow I'm adding just a little bit of the blue to make it look more 3d like those mountain ridges and the thing about doing this style of cake is if you like, you know, kind of add something you don't really like, you can always just freeze it and go over it with a different color of frosting. So I'm gonna try to add in another layer down here. We'll see if it smears. If it does, I'll throw it into the freezer. I am gonna put this into the freezer again, but I'm gonna try to get this layer on first. Once again, this is gonna go into the freezer for 10 minutes. So that's like the key between all your different layers, you gotta freeze it. So fresh from the freezer, and I'm gonna go and add some white. So if you're making this, what's really cool about it is after you freeze it and like the ridges harden, it like kind of naturally when you run the palette knife over, it just creates the depth for you. It's really interesting, you can like feel it on your knife. So like here's an example, I don't like how that looks. So I'm just gonna cover it up with a little white snow. And every once in a while, like, I'm gonna wipe my little palette knife off because it's getting a little too blue for me. Surprise, surprise, this is gonna go into the freezer again for 10 minutes before I add more detail. So my mountains are pretty done. I am gonna go back in and add more details, but next I'm gonna add some trees and I kind of debated if I just wanted the trees down here, like low, or if I wanted to add like some dynamic dimension to this and make the trees tall. And my husband agreed they should be like tall, like they're in the foreground, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I put some dark green into just a really small round tip. I think this is like a Wilton 5. Any really small round tip is gonna work. I am gonna start in the back just to make sure I like how this looks. So I'm just gonna start by piping. And I have a little tiny palette knife to where I can kind of flatten this out. So I'm 
adding a little bit of darker green on the trees, similar to the mountains, just to add more of a 3D look. So I think I want some lighter green in here, but I'm gonna start at the back, just in case I don't like it. So I think what I want to do is end with a layer of like light green, like it's like a hill, and then add some flowers so it'll have like a pop of color. So this is a little experimental. I'm gonna add what should look like flowers. So I'm super happy with how this looks. I think it looks absolutely beautiful and just like the mountain scene that I wanted. I'm gonna clean up my cake board a little bit and then this cake is ready to go. So my little buttercream mountain cake is done and you guys, I just love how this cake turned out. This technique was really fun and it was really easy and I kind of feel like you can't really go wrong with it. You just add your layers and you know, if you don't like something, you just go over it with a different color. And I definitely want to try this technique with something else. I was thinking maybe a beach cake. I don't know. So you guys tell me what else you want to see. And if you did like this tutorial, go ahead and give this episode a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.